Hey guys, what's going on? Freeze Fire Films here, and today we have a mod review, and joining me today is John. Hey guys. Alright, so today's mod is uh, the Clay Soldiers mod by San Andres P and Silver Chiron. Chiron? I don't, I don't know. Alright, well first we're going to get right into the crafting of everything, and first up is the Clay Soldier. Uh, it'll be soul sand on top of clay, which will uh, give you four clay soldiers. And now is when the fun begins. You can combine any of the regular clay soldiers with any die except for gray, and you'll get a clay soldier. I don't know. Doesn't let you. I tried. It. You don't get one. Maybe because they're all gray. Right? Well, there's light gray. Well, true. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Okay, yeah, so, the gray soldier is the regular soldier. That's probably why. You're so, you're so smart. Alright, next up we have more varieties. Uh, this will, you can do this with coal and redstone, as well as pumpkins and uh, melons, but the pumpkin and melon recipes are a bit different for some reason. I don't, yeah, it's, um... Yeah, I don't know why, but you do get four or, more, or three more than you usually get, so I guess it's kind of worth it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, now, uh, if you mess up or you add the wrong color, you won't get your dye back, but you can wash them down, and you can place like these anywhere in the crafting. Like it doesn't have to be like in this order. You can place them anywhere and you will get your clay soldier back, which is nice. Okay, so next up, animals, a bunch of uh, different animals. Uh, first one is the horse. You craft them with your material on the top left, middle left, top right and middle right, or right, right, something. I don't know how to, <laughs> I don't know how to do this, and then the soul sand. You can do this with sand, gravel, grass, which is the crafting recipe for the grass is weird, because you don't use dirt, you actually use tall grass, so, and, uh, there's just, it only get, uh, tall grass. yep, so, yeah, you'll need shears if you want to make the grass one, but it's nothing special, just a different color, and then there's also a lapis horse, which uses lapis blocks, so you're going to have to give up a lot of lapis. Yeah, but what? As I say, yeah. That, yeah. Uh, there's a clay horse and a dirt horse. And crafting these will give you two dirt horses. Alright, next up we have the Pegasus. Um, this is the same recipe, except there's a feather on top of the soul sand. And you can create Pegasus, like uh, dirt and lapis. You can use all the same ones, so I didn't list them here. And you'll get two of them. So that's kind of cool. And those can uh, jump higher and fly. So they're a little bit better than a horse. Alright, so next is the turtle. This is crafted, in a sense, kind of like an arrow. With two soul sand and then the three material of your choice. There's cobble. Uh, mossy cobble. So that's kind of rare to get one of those. Netherrack. Yeah, melon. Yeah, sandstone and then endstone. That's another rare one. And crafting this will give you two turtles. Oh yeah, there's also a pumpkin one. I forgot about the pumpkin. Yes, for all you pumpkin lovers. All right, next up is next up is the bunny. These guys can jump uh, pretty high, and this is the same. Well, not the, uh, uh, anyway, yeah. Anyway, the recipe you can see it right here. Um, this will give you four bunnies, and there's a bunch of different varieties. Uh, you can do, you can craft one for every color wool. So, that gives you a, a big variety. Alright, finally, there's the gecko. You craft them with any choice of your sapling on the top and bottom of soul sand. And there are 16 possibilities, so I didn't list them all. Basically, you can use any two saplings that you want, and you'll get a gecko. They can, they can climb walls, I believe, up to three blocks high. All right. Well, and it's raining. Didn't even notice that. All right. Uh, 
yeah, soul sand. Yeah, you'll need a bunch of soul sand. So, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, because in order to create the soldiers, you need soul sand. Yeah, I think you need soul sand for everything. Alright guys, sorry about that. I had a internet crash, but that's okay. So do we have to redo it, or? No, we're, we're recording. Alright, so the last thing, finally. Oh, I'm not... Sorry about that, I'm not sharing my screens with you. You can't even see what I'm doing. Alright. So the last thing that you can craft are three different tools. Um, there's the clay disruptor, which I'll show you guys a little bit later. Kind of useful for your clay soldiers get everywhere. And this is the recipe. There's some cookies for rewarding your clay soldiers. And you'll get 16 of them. And then finally there's the clay nexus, which is... Uh, you need a diamond and obsidian, so... You'll actually need four diamonds in order to make this, because you'll need three for a pick. Something I'll never be able to do. I can never find a diamond. Alright, so now on to showing you guys what this mod can actually do. Alright, so first I'll be showing the turtle. Nothing special. It's kind of right it. And they do, I believe that these, yeah, these guys will float on water. So, if you're going to do a water battle for some reason, there you go. Alright, next is the gecko. And I'm, yeah, these guys can climb walls, so he'll probably be up and out of here. Maybe. I don't know. He might not leave. Well, let's hope he doesn't. Yeah, he's not leaving right now. Yeah, well. Yeah. Alright, next up, we have a bunny. And, yeah, they're hopping kind of, they're hopping rather high. That's high for a clay, I guess. Although, they can't seem to get out, so they can't block, they can't jump two lots high. Alright, next we have a horse. Nothing special, these guys just ride around on the horse. It makes them faster, obviously. And finally, the last animal is the Pegasus. Oh, and I actually dropped two. Yeah. And I don't know if they will be able to fly out, but who cares what they do? They can jump. Yeah, they jump pretty high. So, that's kind of good for battle. Yeah, they just got it out, so they can jump two lots high. So, so be warned. All right, next up, I'll be showing you guys the tools. Well, first, yeah, first is the uh, clay nexus. This thing is a bit confusing. I was confused, but all it will do is um, it's a um, spawner basically. You put what color you want in here, and if you want them to ride an animal, you put it in here. And if you want them to have special items, such as uh, a stick or gravel, you put it in here. And then you can change the settings here for spawning purposes. And now I'm just going to turn this on, and it should be every 10 seconds, uh, some soldiers should spawn. And that cube right in the middle and this dust here, whoa. Alright, so that, fi that spawned five soldiers on dirt horses like I wanted it to. So yeah, like the cube and the um, particles there will all change depending on what color you want them to spawn on. <clears throat> That's cool. Yeah. So you can have pretty much any color. And now once you kill these guys, they're like a ghost, so you won't get the block back. They just kind of disappear when I punch them. So, just be warned if you do that. But if you break the nexus, you do get what you put in their back, so that's good. Because that was an accident there. Oops, I actually did that wrong. Get back here. Alright, next up we have the clay disruptor. Now, say you spawn too many and you don't feel like clicking them. Or they're getting loose and you just want to kill them. Right clicking on the clay disruptor will kill all of them. And it will also destroy clay. So doing this will give you back their items, and it will drop clay balls from clay. Who would have guessed? Alright, so now up to the different things that the um, <coughs> soldiers can use. Alright, so first up we have 
Um, hold on. We have a stick and flint. Uh, get you just just uh, drop Q, you, uh, drop using the Q button, and then one of them will pick it up, and then they'll get a stick. Now, if you throw down flint, they'll sharpen their stick, so attacks will be higher. That's cool. So, yeah. All right. So next we have armor. Hold on. There we go. Yeah, uh, giving them a piece of wool, and I believe for any color, just give them wool, and then they'll put on a shirt. Well, if they're gonna pick it up, come on, don't be stupid. You're not, you're seriously not gonna take it. Oh, no, I'm doing this wrong, sorry guys. You have to give them a piece of leather, and then oh. you, then you give them wool for extra padding, and then they'll have like a white stripe there for... That's yeah, so I was doing that wrong. You had to give them leather first. Yeah. All right. Next up, we have food. Um. Uh. If they get hurt in battle, they can just eat food, and they'll eat. Be able to eat four times, and they can eat. I think any food, including mushroom stew, they can eat anything but um, cake because it's just too big for them. If it gives, yeah, if it gives us, like, five uses, it's gonna give them, like, twenty. Too much for them to carry. True. Yes. Okay. So, now we have, um, a gold nugget and gold block. A gold nugget will declare a king. Uh, not a gold block. I threw the wrong one. So, now they'll get to have a crown on. And if you give that king a gold block, they'll become stronger. I think I'm doing this right. I don't know. Maybe not. No, that's a super soldier. So I th well, let me just check. No, that's just that's just their special weapon. I thought maybe not. Let me just quickly check here. Um, uh, there's so many things I can't find anything. Gold blocks, upgrading king armor and shields and bones. If you provide a king with a block of solid gold metal, they will use it to upgrade a variety of equipment. Eh, okay, well, there you have it. Just give your king the armor and weapons and stuff, and then give him a gold block, and then he'll be upgraded. Okay. So, next up, we have nothing in this chest. That's cool. Uh, someone forgot to put something in there. Uh-huh. So, let's see what should be in there. Glowstone. Glowstone should be in that one. What is the glowstone? Oh, see, I know. They, I think they, uh, one of them grabbed it because they can actually reach it. Oh. Yes. Um, I do not mention this, but the um, clay soldiers can go in chests and chest in a furnace or chest in a chest in a minecart. So, if you have stuff lying around, they'll probably take it from you. Um, what was I looking for? Glowstone, right? Glowstone and a disruptor. And I can't seem to find any of them. Glowstone here. Disruptor. Somewhere. There we go. And that annoys me when that happens, that purple thing. Alright, well they're all dead anyway. Alright, so now we've got uh, glowstone. And this will make your soldiers glow in the dark. So that's something a little bit different. And I'll... Uh huh. Well, that's that's why you fight in the night then. Time night. See, okay, so you can see which one I gave glowstone to, or glow, yeah, glowstone dust because you can see he's a lighter color. So he doesn't really glow; he just kind of gets lighter in color. Yeah. All right. So now to the next one, we have gunpowder. So we're going to put down two different colors so I can actually show you this. So let's give one of them gunpowder. And when they have gunpowder on them, they are like have like a checkered pattern with a gray in their color to show that they've, they have a mark. Yes. So I'm going to let these guys fight. And when, he, when that guy dies, you'll know. You'll know it when he dies. So let's just watch him. 
And of course he didn't die. There we go. There's an explosion. That's pretty that's a pretty big explosion. Wow. I didn't expect that. It's like a mini creeper. Yeah. So don't give them gunpowder. And that Okay, well that one also grabbed out of the next chest, which is sugar. Sugar, yeah, sugar will make the clay soldiers go faster. So, kind of good in combat, I guess. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you can't really see it, but he is moving a bit faster. Alright, now time to kill you. Alright, next up is clay. Now, this one's kind of cool. If you give a soldier clay, he'll be able to revive his dead teammates. Alright, so that one got the clay, I think, so let's kill this one. Alright, so now I'm gonna walk over there, use his clay up, and he'll revive his teammate. So that's good for combat. Alright, next up we have some redstone. And redstone does... I don't remember. Okay. No, that's... Well, if you use that to make a redstone soldier. Okay. Oh. Redstone dust, um, it'll blind your enemies if they get hit by. Yeah, so. So let's give one of them redstone. You can see it in his hand there. Mini redstone. Really, really mini redstone. And now we're gonna f uh, let, guy, let these guys fight again. And now you can see, like, there's like a red flash there. And now, since he's blinded, he's not gonna move because he can't see. What was that? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I know. Yeah. Alright, next up. Slime ball. When a clay soldier has this and they use it against an enemy, it'll freeze them. They won't be able to move at all. Alright, so you can see that one. There was like a green flash there. Now there's um, slime on his feet so he can't move. He can still attack, but... And he won anyway. The guy who had slime, who couldn't move, still won. Alright, well... Alright, let's kill off these guys. Alright, next up... Iron. Uh, I guess I have to put that in my hotbar. There we go. So what iron will do is give your soldier a... Um, some, a something. No, it'll give them a something. Um, a, a heavy core. So, they won't take as much damage. It'll make them stronger and heavier. So, their knockback will be increased. That's cool. Uh, they'll fly a shorter distance when they're hit. And if two iron soldiers hit each other, then nothing will happen. And, the, and they won't be able to ride a dirt horse. Or probably a dirt pegasus because they're so heavy. So, I guess I'll just show you guys this. When he's hit, you can see he won't move far at all. So, I think it's, I think it's that one. I don't know which one I gave it to. Yeah, it's, it's definitely that one, because he was, like, hitting that guy pretty far. So, it's just basically, like, a body armor? Mm-hmm. Kind of. Alright, so, next up, gravel. You can see it in his hand there. This is, uh, throwing stones. So you might be able to see it. He might not use it at all. Since they're so close. Okay, yeah, you can see him throwing gravel. Alright. So, let's kill him now. Okay, so that's, uh, you uh, get some, um, what's it called? You have your close-up combat. Now what's the, um, other combat? The far away combat. Can't think of it. Yeah. Anyway, next up we have glass. So if you give a clay dude glass, he'll wear glasses. And this is like a unlimited use. You can put as many of these guys down as you want, and they'll all be able to use the same glass block to get glasses. This will increase their range by like five blocks, so they can see enemies f faster and see chests faster. Mmm, seeing chests faster. 
Oh, oh, right. I'm forgetting about some of these things here. I'm putting up pillars for a reason. I'm not even using it. Okay, so next up is a fishing rod. Now, what this will do... Oh, wrong. I didn't want you to click on him. Oh, now I put the wrong soldiers down. That ain't good. Okay. So what this will do is if you put it down, the clay soldiers will move towards it so you can guide them along. So now they see it again. Well, some of them do. And they'll start moving towards it. So, another handy thing instead of killing them. Even though it doesn't always work. Okay, and now, if you give a clay soldier wood, he'll build a house. Now, he'll, there's three different houses he can build. One with five wood, one with ten wood, and one with twenty wood. Now, I wasn't lucky enough to get him to build the twenty, the biggest one. But anyway, here's the five, here's the ten. And the 20th one comes with uh, ladders and a chest of sticks for the army. And they do have an animation, so I'll give this guy wood. And now you can see it when he picks it up. Come on, buddy, pick it up. Let's throw it to you. You can see he's holding wood above his head. So, they won't build. Oh, yeah, he will build. Oh, okay. yeah, that's cool. Usually it needs like a lot of room and no other clay soldiers. Yeah. 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 Alright. And now, next up, I forget where I left off. Think down here. No. What, what was in this one? Did I do th that was the glass. Okay, I did do that one. Uh, did I do this one? What's next to glass? I don't remember. I don't think I did that one. Um, clay. No, I did clay already. Oh, horses can be revived with clay as well. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to have some uh, falling exercises. Falling down and dying. Yeah. Exercises. Okay. Yeah. So normally, a clay soldier would, I think, fall to his death if you knocked a block out from under him. They would, you can see how fast they fall. If I can find where, where they're standing. There. So he fell pretty far, and yes, he did die. But, if you give a guy a feather, he'll be able to use it as a parachute. Yeah, and then he'll float down to safety. Yep, so you can see it there. He's using it to float down to safety. I don't think so, because they're using both their hands to, um survive yeah and it's raining again that's twice now goodness for too many items slash spc yes spc um oh, I'm using too many items. well i'm using spc all right next up we have oh i showed you guys this already it's the camera if you right click on a soldier, you can go in first person. Well, kind of, well, third person rather. Now, if you cl left click, you kill them. But if you uh, hit shift, they'll be free. They'll, uh, they'll survive. Alright, so next up, that chest is empty. I don't know if that's supposed to be empty. No, it's not supposed to be empty. No. Okay. So next up, we have diamonds and ender pearls. So, diamonds will make your guy super. He'll, he'll be stronger, he'll have more, um, he can uh, deal more damage, his tools will last longer, and he's, that's really yeah, and it's in the name, Super Soldier. That is, that's exactly what he is. Now I'm doing the wrong thing here, but that's okay. Alright, now, the only thing special about this guy is he has a diamond crown now, instead of a golden crown. So, alright, now is the, I keep clicking Q. Alright, now is the ender pearl. If you give a guy an ender pearl, he'll turn dark and have the, um, enderman particles. And if I were on survival, 
he would attack me. That's what the um that's what the Ender Pearl does. It makes them corrupt and they'll attack you. So I'll just quickly do this here. Game mode uh zero. So now he's punching me. That's about half a heart to a heart. So yeah. Yeah, well, he qu attacks quickly. So, if you have a corrupted diamond super soldier, you're doomed. So, don't let that happen. We're going to kill them both so nothing dangerous happens. Alright, next up. I don't know. Alright, next up is... Let me put some of this stuff away. Alright, so now we have... Blaze rods and gas tears and coal. Uh, coal will make your fire weapons last longer. So, nothing special. Yeah. So, let's give him a blaze rod, my special item, my mighty item of a blaze rod. And now you can see it in his hand. Now, let's put these guys down. They will go on fire and take fire damage. And, yeah. And when he's dead, you'll get a lifeless brick doll. You can't place these down, but if you throw them on the ground and give a uh, a person a gas tier, then he will revive the brick doll and put it on his team. So now I have a third uh, cyan soldier. And is, let's. Is he made of bricks though? No. Oh. Yeah. And now I just gave that guy coal, the guy with the blaze rod, and it will last longer. Okay, so next up, and my cat is meowing, but that's okay, we have blaze powder. Now this is basically the same thing, it's like a blaze rod and gravel combined. You throw fireballs. Go figure. And you can also do the same thing with coal to make it last longer. Now you can't, okay, the person who gives it will see, you'll see a fire off of him. And I don't... Okay, maybe this isn't for coal. Maybe I might be doing it for the wrong one. No, it's not. Give me that back. Yeah, okay, I put coal in the wrong one. So maybe that's not what the blaze powder's for, then. Wait. So, does blaze powder do something? Um, looking at it right now. Oh. Um, oh, they'll burn with anger. The next thing they hit will be instantly bricked. So it's a one-hit brick kill. Wait, but I thought you could revive things, like, make Yes. Things. Yes, with, um... So that hit that hit they just did there killed him instantly and made him a brick doll. Yes. If you give a person a gas tier, they'll can re they can revive a brick soldier into their own teammates, into their own team. So, yeah, that's, uh, good. Nothing. They just burned. Can't do anything with them. You only revive them. Alright, so now I gotta keep that coal actually. Next up we have dyes and what they will do with the dyes. So now if you put soldiers in here, they'll start to wander around. Now if you want them to get all together, you can hold it in your hand and they'll like they can like smell it. That's what the wiki if that's what the forum says, they can smell their own color, so they'll follow you. Or if you throw it on the gr if you throw it on the ground, they'll gather around it. Except for except for that one who's trying to get out, who's trying to get out of the fence. And this will work with any color. Yeah, it'll work if the people are not trying to get out. <laughs> yeah. All right. So now, where do I go next? Ah, up here. I forgot my own um, course because there's so much stuff to this mod. All right, so now we have sugar cane, and sugar cane I believe increases their accuracy. Ac ac uh, yeah, accuracy. Yeah. Uh, they'll just be. They can have they have better accuracy. Uh, they'll always hit with their gravel. And I just realized that I, yeah. And I just realized that I missed a couple things. 
So let's actually fly over here. See, I, this is there's so much stuff. I don't remember what I miss and don't miss. All right. So next up, if um, you can give your clay guys a bowl, an empty bowl, and they'll get a shield. Now, if you throw down an entire iron block, um, they'll put iron stud things on their shield, and it'll become stronger. Now, luckily, you do get your iron block back, so you won't be wasting nine iron. All right. So now we have fermented spider eyes, wheat, and nether wart. Now, I believe the fermented spider eye and wheat does the same thing. Originally, uh, the white soldiers would be neutral, they wouldn't fight, and black soldiers would fight their own kind for some odd reason. But that was removed, but now it has been brought back, I believe. So I think the wheat and fermented spyro do the same. So now we're going to throw this down, and they probably won't fight back. Okay, that one's fighting back, but that one's not fighting back. So some of them fight back while others don't? Yeah, it, I don't know what the wheat does. It's, oh. But the fermented spider eye prevents your soldier from fighting back. So if you decide to team up with one clay guys, clay colors, then go ahead. Now if you want, you can give them nether wart, and he'll start attacking his own kind. See? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ah, let's kill them. Ah, now I fell in the hole. Alright, next up is paper. This does absolutely nothing but looks. If you give them paper, they'll get a cape. What does a cape do? Nothing. They just get a cape. They get a cape. Yeah, it doesn't help them fly, it doesn't do anything. Does it look cool, though? I don't know, look... Well, I'm showing you. Does it look cool? Uh, yeah, I think you can also change colors, but I don't know how, and I don't really care. Alright, next up. Pumpkin soldiers and cookies. Now, on the form, it says if you give too many cookies to a soldier, something will happen. And it says if you give that to pumpkin soldiers, they'll turn to jack-o'-lantern soldiers, so I guess they'll glow in the dark. And it says they'll devour these things super quickly. It's like, look, I like they don't even stay on the ground. I'll give them a whole stack. Yeah, I'll give them a whole stack. So yeah, you can see they're like glowing. They're they were like glowing there. So That's something. All right. Yeah. Next up, snowballs. Snowballs, I believe, do no damage at all. Yeah, they do no damage, but they'll slow down your enemy. And okay. yeah. And since these go these go together, uh, fireballs, um, fire charge rather, he'll fling fireballs. This is what I was talking about before. And no direct damage, but they'll get fire damage. Basically, a long distance blaze rod. So that's what I was talking about before. So for this coal, I don't remember what I was even talking about. I might have been going crazy there, but it happens. Alright, so now you can see a snowball in his hand, and now you can see that, that that guy has bubbles around him and he's going slow. Plus he keeps getting hit. Alright, so we'll let we'll them fight, and we'll go on to the next one, which is the fire charge. Alright, so you can see it in his hand, and now we'll just let them fight out again. And you can see he's getting on fire, and he's throwing the fire charges. Alright, now, 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 now let's kill them. Okay, so now on to what I was going to earlier with sugarcane and accuracy. Okay. That's basically all it does. Wow. Yeah, they'll pretty much like never miss anymore. Shh. Wrong button. So yeah, they pick it up, and that's pretty much it. Okay then. Yeah. All right, now they can eat brown mushrooms. Don't they get poisoned from that, though? Hold on, yes. Well, no. If you give, if you give a 
soldier a brown mushroom, they can treat it as food. But if you give them a red mushroom, they get poisoned. Well, they'll poison their enemy, I think. Okay. Yeah, they're poisoning their enemy. And they're, they die pretty quickly. So, yeah. Alright, so now to the next one, and it's raining again. Like three times in one video. Alright, next up is bones. You can only give a bone to a king, and they're better than a stick. They last longer, and they do more damage. Get your stick. There you go, you got your bone. So, a little bit better. You can give your king, make your king a little bit better. Alright, so now we have glistening melons. Now, if you give a soldier a glistening melon, they cannot hold any weapons, but it's like clay. You can revive soldiers, but it works four times. So, yes. So I'll kill him. Oops. I'll kill him, and he won't revive him because he's a jerk. Revive your teammate. <laughs> what a jerk. He's not even reviving his own teammate. Or am I doing the wrong thing? I might be saying the wrong thing. I've been, I've done this already. Yes, that's what it does, though. It heals their allies four times. And he doesn't seem to want to do that, because he's a jerk. Yeah. He's like, I'll fight alone. Bring him on. Even though he can't attack. Alright, so now, magma cream. I completely forget what this does. Okay, it makes your guys die or explode when they're dead, like gunpowder. And it'll have random critical hits. But the sad part is you cannot use this with gunpowder, so you'll only have a minor explosion, even though it's pretty big. Yeah. And when they get magma cream, you can see it on them, I think. Maybe not. Okay, no, you can't. I thought you could. That's what the picture shows. I go by pictures. Okay, I guess not. Okay, so now on to floating. Normally, if you put clay soldiers in water, uh, they'll sink. Okay, I, I gotta get these guys in here. Oh, I know, I'll hold the die. They'll move towards the die. Yeah, I, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't make the mod. I don't know. Okay, so if you put them in water, they'll sink, and they're immune to drowning, though. But if you give them a lily pad, which should also be collected by shears, they get green pants, and they can float. So now they can fight in water. They might be able to fight underwater, but I don't know. Alright. Now, I cannot move. There we go. Now I'm confused. There we go. Next up, eggs. This will max mask their smell. So, that's how other soldiers see each other, unless they have glasses on. So, they smell out the enemy. But, let me do this. Let me separate these guys. Because I only want one to spawn. So, if you give him an, an egg, he'll mask his smell. So he won't be, uh, he can be like an assassin as the forum says. Now th if I put this guy here, he won't attack, but the other guy will because he can't smell him. I can't really show a demonstration of this, but just trust me, that's what it does. Now let me kill these guys, I haven't done these in a while. I haven't killed these guys in a while, so. Ah, you didn't die. Behold, my clay disruptor that I can't use for some reason. Why can't I? I can't use it. It's not letting me use it. There we go. Maybe because it makes me dizzy, so it won't. I won't. It won't. It'll allow me to not make the audience dizzy. Yeah, that's it. It's smart. I, ju I just did this one, right? Yes. Okay, so now to the next one. This one's a bit odd, but it's cool. If you have shears, if you and you put them in the crafting inventory, on well, in the crafting thing, it'll split it in half to get sheer blades and you'll get two obviously now you can give these to clay soldiers and you can give them one 
and you can see it, or you can make them a dual wielder, which that okay, it didn't work out that way. They each took one. Oops. So there you go. Now they have a dual wield. Pretty cool. I like that. Looks cool. Looks nice. All right. Up to the next one now. I believe this may be the last one. I think so, actually. All right. So now for the last one. Uh, this applies for wheat, nether wart, and fermented spider eye. I told you that before. It gives them like a neutral or aggressive. Um, and you know, and, and as you know, milk will uh, cure poison and fire from you, and it'll do the same thing for him. So if I'll give the one, well, give one wheat, and I'll give one a fermented spider eye. Well, no, that's like like I show. Like I was I was saying. That's what it does for us, but for them, it gets rid of their aggressive slash um, passive. Yeah, yeah, yes. All right. Well, I think that is it for this mod review. Um, I had a fun time recording this, so because this is a really cool mod. But this is not it. So let me just switch worlds here, and we'll get to what you were finally waiting for the battle. You gotta have a battle. That's what this mod's for. Yes. Okay, so I have teams of red, uh, lime green, blue, and orange. So, alright John, what do you want these guys to have? As like tools and um, animals. Let me just put these guys in first. Okay. 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 Well, that's gonna be a little hard because they're all gonna go for the horse and. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Okay. Do you want me? What do you want the armies to be? 16 or 32? Okay. All right. Yes. Okay. Just hold on. Let me. This will take a little bit. I should have set this up before, but I didn't have John with me, and I wanted him to do this. Yeah. Yay. There's a village over there. Okay. So I'll need to separate this into one for each. Okay. So one red, one green, one blue, and one orange. Okay. And you said, why can't I do that? All right, so the king should have a horse, right? That's what you said. Yeah. Okay. What kind of horse? Snow. Yeah. Do you want a dirt, a dirt horse, uh, a gravel horse, a sand horse? Alright guys, sorry about that, another internet failure. Uh, John's not here right now, sadly, because we're doing this at a later time, but that's okay. So I'm just going to fill in for him. So we're going to need four snow horses, and I know he said sticks. So we're going to get a bunch of sticks, and we're also going to get some gravel. Alright, so we're going to make a king. King, and a king. Oh. Oh, right. I knew that, don't worry. Uh, I knew that, don't, don't worry. I knew it would do that, don't worry. <laughs> Alright, so now I, now I'll, now I can fix my error. Alright, so now each, now I each have a king. And they'll be on a snow horse. 
Alright, so let's get some gravel out. Let's give them... Well, I'll need... 15. No, oh, give me my stick back. Did he take a stick? No. Can he take a stick? I don't know if he can take a stick. I don't know. Alright, so now there's 16. And he said he wanted 32. So now let's... Now they have 32. Alright, so... Let's each give them a stick. And a flint. To sharpen their sticks. Alright, so now we gotta do the same here. We gotta take one off. And then we'll put these guys back together. And put 16 more. Alright, let's do the same thing here. Give them 32 sticks. And a flint. Alright, we're gonna need more sticks because these guys are hogs. <laughs> there they are. Alright, and now the same for over here. 15 and 1, and put them back. A bit repetitive, but oh yeah, well. Alright. And finally, green. They made them get outside. Okay, I don't know if they like glitched through or not when I did that. Okay, so now that's all good. Let's keep that in there for now. All right, let's um, let's all give let's each let's actually give them armor too, and we'll give them padded armor. So in order to do that, we're gonna need four wool. And all right, guys. Here's John. What's up? Be there. Yeah, that totally sucks. Yes. Well, I'm recording anyway, so I gave them all kings and stuff, like the swords and stuff. Are you all right with me giving them padded armor? Yeah. All right. Let me do that then, and then I can show. Well, not show. Then you can tell me if you want the want me to give them anything else. Just give each one of these guys one of them, even though they can't do anything with wool. Wait, was the thing saved? Like, the, the, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, hold on. Video? Yes. The video's still good. Yeah. Alright. There you go. Now you, can, now, you can see what you're, now you can see what I'm doing. Are you still recording? Yeah. You can see what I'm doing. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so now they each have that, and they'll each need leather. Okay, so now they all have padded armor and sharpened sticks. Yeah, okay. So, what else? Anything else I should give them? Oh, you should make a couple suicides. Like, like three? Or two? How many? Not yet. Well, if the battle is looking bad for any of them. Okay, well, I just got myself a, st a stack. Okay, anything else I should give them? Gravel? Anything? Glow in the dark? Well, in case this battle goes into the dark, I'll give them all glow in the dark. Yeah, that's a good idea. And it's raining. <laughs> Stupid rain. Of course it is. Uh-huh. Alright. There's some glowstone for you. Oh, wait. Do you just... Do you t each take one, or... Yeah, you each take one. Hogs. There's some glowstone in your cages. Take it from there. Well, there is. I, I need, they needed light. Okay. Oh, I didn't need that many. All right, you guys can glow in the dark, and now you guys can glow in the dark. I'm gonna set up some torches in the corners too. Well, I'll put it right corners, and then everywhere it ends. I ain't doing anything with the actual arena. I just made it grass. I didn't want to waste my time. I spent eight Minecraft days making that first thing for you guys. I'm not going to waste more time. Well, I shouldn't say waste. Because I had fun making that.
right, now the arena is, is um, that has light. Anything else? We all good? Yeah, it's it should be all good. Alright. Oh, should I put some clay nexus? To keep respawning or no? <clears throat> no, you should put medics. Well, they all have weapons. They can only, uh, they, they all have weapons now, so I can't. They, it, they, yeah. Uh, if they have, if they have a medic, then they can't. I Maybe mean, I can give them clay, but they can, they can only use it once. So should I do that? Sure. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. <clears throat> so clay's here. All right. And you'd be proud of me, John. I set up redstone. <gasps> I did. I set up. Uh, I did. It took me a little bit to figure out how I wanted to do it, but yep, I set up redstone. You'll see. It opens. Well, it opens up a block for them, since they're so small, they can fit through that block. Yep. Yeah, you'd be proud of me. Yeah, I'll show you my redstone. Yeah. So here's my lever in the direct center, and then all it does is go through, and then it just opens up. It pushes a piston down, it's a sticky piston, so it grabs the block. Yeah. All right. So I think we're all. I think we're good now. So, no nexus? Nothing else? We're good? Okay. Alright, let's get to it. Come on, fly, buddy. Three, two, one. Let the battle begin. Come on. Come on, you're gonna leave your houses? Come on. We got green leaving, we got blue leaving, we got orange leaving, and red still hiding out. Come on, you can leave. Alright, the king goes out first for the red team. I don't know. They might. But I I'm putting my money on uh blue. Because blue's not doing anything. Plus blue's my favorite color. They're not doing anything, it's look at that. Color. Well, I pick blue, so pick a different color. Plus their king's the only safe king. Oh now they're starting to leave. Who do you want to win? Green, orange, or red? Okay, green, orange, red or blue. Yes. Yes to what? No, 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 you get one. <laughs> this is really messy. But it's so colorful. Yeah, and since I showed you guys this, there's like uh, 15 or so different colors. Imagine the battle you could do with every team. It'd be so colorful and awesome, and it would take forever. Well, here's a big fight here. Look at this. Like three or four different teams. Oh. Red, orange. Oh, there's all all of them fighting in the middle. Well, not the middle, but Yeah. Ooh, there's a nugget on the ground. Someone can take king. There's two nuggets on the ground. People can take king if they want to. All right, there's there's still one guy in the blue. There's one guy in the orange. There's a horse in the red, and there's dead guys in the green. <laughs> People were fighting in the green's hut. Well, the battle's coming to an end, and look who's winning. Who is it? Blue. 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 There's, like, uh, I think blue just won. I was right. I think that's, I think that's the battle. Let me just check. No, I said. Oh, there's still one guy left in the orange. <laughs> I will. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna grab his um his uh, color and just like bring him out into the fight. Hey, buddy, want your orange? Well, I kind of can't do that, but you want your orange? Oh, I'll make him a super soldier. Well. I will if he doesn't leave. He left. No, he didn't. I'm gonna close the door. Door closed. Nah, anyone who was there has to wait. Okay. So, what does he have? Does he have a sharp, sharpened stick? He did. He leave. He left. He got out. All right. Well, let's watch it. I didn't even realize he got out. So he's a king super soldier. I should have gave him in the diamond helmet. I forgot how to do that though. Ooh, he just revived a teammate. Way to go, buddy. How do you? 
Oh, oh right, I had to open this. Because there's soldiers in the red. I'm gonna get the blue die out so they can actually fight. Where's the blue die? Here's the lapis. To party. <laughs> yes, there's a bunch of guys in here. Come on, guys, let's go. You're missing the battle. Wait. Which thing, Mike? What do you mean, which thing? Like, where are all the guys? Oh, they're over there. In the corner. Oh. The super soldier's still alive. Is there anyone left? Yeah, there's still one more guy in here. Here, get out in the fight, retard. Get out in the fight. Wow, that super soldier is still alive. I've got to give him a gold crown. I should have given him a diamond crown, but I don't remember how. Should have watched my own video. Wow, he's still alive. I don't remember how to do it. Are you going to post this as a second video, or is, this all, is it all going to be the same one? I think it's one. If I, sp I might split it, depending on how long it is. Well, I'm pretty sure it's like 30 to 40 minutes. I don't know. Well, a blue guy just died. If orange wins, I'm still counting blue as winner because they were winning. <laughs> I think blue's going to win now. Yeah, blue's going to win. Not yet, but they will, because now it's like 76 on one, on two, on three, he revived another soldier. This is just chaos. Yeah. Alright, free diamond award. I'm going to give out a diamond. It's going to be in the opposite corner in which they're fighting. I'm also going to give out glasses, so they can actually see it. Alright guys, get some glasses. Did you, they defeat him? They defeated him. No, they didn't. Yes, they did. No, they... Oh, yeah, they did, because a blue guy has a diamond soldier now. He has a diamond crown. Alright. Alright guys, get some... Alright guys, get some glasses. Well, look at the team. While you weren't looking, I spawned so many. Diamond award. You... You shader. No, blue would've won anyway. Alright guys, well, there's your battle. If you want to see another battle, let me know. And, um... We should post any of our Mod Spotlight maps on the interwebs. Tell us. Yes. It'll be a little bit boring. Well, not boring, but, like, when I show the crafting, all those things are pretty much gone. Except for the crafting recipes, they're still there. But, uh, yeah, what he said. Um, anything else? Anything? Let's do, let's do, let's do, um, I know what I want to do. Oh, we're not done yet. Boom! Now they're all dead. Now it's gonna be melons and pumpkins. <laughs> Cause we can. Or it's gonna be 16. I don't care. 16 on 16, and they're all gonna glow in the dark. It's gonna be a night battle. I don't know how to do that. I don't feel like setting that up. Oh, I missed the glowstone. Nice. I don't feel like setting that up. I'm too lazy. Like we said, if you want to uh, have this map, let us know. And you guys can make us something cool, and then we'll play it again. Alright, we're going to get... Yeah, yeah we're going to get rid of these torches. It's going to be like a super dark but cool glow-in-the-dark battle. Don't miss the food battle. Don't want to miss it. Alright, dimming all the torches. Did you really just say don't miss the food battle? Yeah, because it's pumpkins on melons. Oh. Hmm. I'm pretty sure there's also pumpkins and watermelon animals. Yes. No. Am I being dumb here? Though there's a turtle. There's Yeah, there's turtles. One turtle. Yeah, they each get a turtle, because they each have a color turtle. So let me make sure I put in the right one. What There's a the turtle. Actually, they, do? They, they uh water battles, they can float. Uh, yeah. 
they make the people float, but the turtles can float themselves. Alright, I should really clean all this up. <laughs> There's so many things here. Just turn off drops. Not too late. Can I even do oh yeah, I can do that, yeah, well. I want well, I want it to get a little bit darker anyway. It's gonna be a midnight battle. Alright, now let's clean up anything that's left in here. And the same for the others. Anything in here? Yes, there is. Alright, John. Well, here you go. Here's your battle. Coming rather soon. In a matter of, like, two, nine, Q. Let me dim these lights. Let me get rid of these lights. Did you really just say two, nine, Q? You bet I did. Alright, I have OCD in this Minecraft, so I get rid of I had to patch that up. Better at these lights. <laughs> Alright. Well. Food battle in Minecraft with clay soldiers coming in. Nine. Two. Q. Fight. Nine, two, Q, fight? Yeah. Come on, guys. Come out of your holes. Whoever your kindergarten. Yeah, they should. You're right, they should. Alright, you guys get glasses, and you guys get glasses. Well, let the battle begin. I vote melons. Yeah. Pumpkin died. Uh, two melons have died, three melons have died, four melons have died, one pumpkin has died, two pumpkins, three, four, five, I can't count too many. Any people still in their homes? Nope. Alright, we can close the gates. Uh, a pumpkin's right. Really? A pu the pumpkin turtle guys went in the house. <laughs> oh, uh, whatever. Pumpkins are winning. Pumpkins. Pumpkins, uh, pumpkins won. Alright, guys, well, there you have it. There.